Honorable Senators, in your Titanilica in Yap in Niama, a Kunilang Tilwala, Takwa, Ohalemago Tiginataka, Ulumi, Porto Tikut Agnai, Katuki Hatigin Nirayan Atamani Kanatami, Naliotia Haksima Mata Akarni, twenty five Nik. Nuitan <laughs> Makoalo, Pinak Lutan, Simon River Tarajang, Nunaligne, Agnailo, Piarello, the Makoa, Ulumio, Isumalo, digging in the market. Honorable Senators, uh, now I'm going to be switching into English. I did not make a deal with, uh, with, uh, with our speaker, so I have to sort of cut, cut down what I have to say in my own mother tongue. Hopefully next time that I will go right through. That's not in place yet, but it's coming. Thank you. <laughs> Today, both to the Inuit women of Canada, the voice of Inuit women from across the Inuit Nunat is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Since 1984, Paututik have worked tirelessly to address a broad range of health and social issues of concern to our Inuit communities. Priority issues have included housing, education, economic development, elimination of violence and abuse against Inuit women and children. The administration of justice in Inuit community and achieve a social and a political equality in Canada. Honorable Senators, with input from the communities and the Inuit expert, some of this work resulted in the uh, year 2006 national strategy to prevent abuse in Inuit communities as well as a national Inuit resident school healing strategy, elimination of abuse against Inuit women and children continue to be ongoing priority. Honorable Senators, I, for one, I congratulate Paututit on their success and, in, and, and encourage our government to continue to work with them as to respect and much needed partners in improving living condition in the Arctic. Honorable Senators, I thank you all.